Steve Dempsey, they're live where the realistic demonstration is underway. Good morning, Court. Good morning, guys. Now, I'm going to set the scene for you, and uh, Steve is going to push in so you can actually see the uh, activity. But I'm going to stay back here just so that I don't take away from what's happening. Again, as you mentioned, this is a mock situation, so we want to make sure that people who are watching don't think that this is an actual incident taking place here at McClatchy High School. But boy, does it look real. You've got all the juniors and all the seniors and the student body that are out here taking part in this Every 15 Minutes program, which is something that the CHP actually does every single year for different high schools. Now, the program itself is quite an undertaking, as you can imagine. They have uh, resources that actually come out and take part in this acti actual activity. They use the jaws of life. They've got the demonstration showing you what happens during a DUI crash. You can see that the uh, fire department is here uh, trying to get the people who are stuck inside the vehicle out. Um, they have fatalities. They have the, as I mentioned, the jaws of life. They also have a helicopter that is planned to come in and land to provide life flight for the individual uh, who is going to be taken to the UC Davis Med Center. Now, this is a two-day event that takes place when they do every 15-minute programs. The first day is essentially the scene of the crash. Every 15 minutes, the statistic is that someone in this country dies in a DUI crash. But the unfortunate thing is that the teenagers that are involved in the uh, assemblies themselves, they haven't really gotten a, a sense of their own mortality. So the unfortunate thing is that they don't ever think that it's going to happen to them, which is why CHP and schools think it's so important to bring programs like this to the campuses. Now, it is a very realistic uh, scene. The students who are used in the uh, presentation are actual students in the student body. So these kids on campus have a very real and solid connection with the kids who are involved in this, this whole assembly. As I mentioned, it's a two-day thing, so the first day is the scene of the actual uh, incident. And then they, they stretch it into when the life light lands and they take the occupant off to UC Davis Med Center, they send a camera there and get all the video footage of what it's like to actually go through an ER and actually see a life be lost. They also uh, go to the extent of taking the person who was uh, the cause of the crash, take them to the police department where they're booked for a DUI and actually show that video also on the second day, which which is when they have the, the funeral for all of the students who were involved in the crash and were killed during the incident. So this is something that McClatchy High School has done uh, in the past, but it's been about five years since the last time they did it. But CHP is telling me that uh, they've got at least a dozen schools every year that want to do something like this. So, of course, you can contact CHP if you would like your school campus uh, to be involved. But I can tell you guys, as a parent, this is something that I absolutely positively want my child to go through because I, I imagine that the kids that were going into the, the uh, presentation probably thought, oh, this is no big deal. We already know this, this thing happens all the time. We hear the statistics all the time. But when they see it in real life and see what it looks like at a DUI scene, I bet they will absolutely have a change of heart and think twice before driving under the influence. Guys, back over to you. I bet. I bet it gets pretty emotional, you know, and for parents, too. You know, it's pretty upsetting, and it's meant to be and mm -hmm. with, a, with a, hopefully a good outcome. All right, that's happening in McClatchy High School today. Thanks, Cora. Yeah. Well, we know Jeff.